I'm Danny Gurry, and you've tuned in to Good Morning Frederick. It's a podcast, well, about Frederick. Everything, the people, the businesses, the nonprofits, and the cool stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Good Morning Frederick. What did you say now? Auntie Danny Show. Where? Where is Auntie Danny Show? Um, right here. How do you know that? Yeah. Say hi, Auntie Danny. Hi, Auntie Danny. Say, I love your show. I love your show. And I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nothing better than that. Good morning, Frederick. Today is Tuesday. Feels like a Monday. It's a Tuesday. September 3rd, I'm your host, Danny Gurry. That was my nephew, Alessio, with my brother. And I got that video yesterday and it made my day. Absolutely love it. The kid recognizes the brand. It's fantastic. All right, want to give you a rundown of today's show. Uh, we've got our local news, weather, and sports with Chris Michaels from WFMD's Morning News Express. I got some giveaways for you and some new ones. Got something from the Frederick Fair for you. Uh, we're going to talk about what's happening in Frederick. Goodness gracious, hold your hats because we are in September, which is one of the busiest months in Frederick. Uh, it, I don't know. It'd be great to see who can do as many events as possible this week or this month. Uh, there's tons happening. I talked to photographer Nicole DeMall. She talks about turning her passion into a side hustle. We've got Possum Pets, sponsored by Pet and Home Care. You're going to meet two bonded kittens, Pepsi and Cola. Oh my gosh, so adorable. And my husband, Ash, and I recap our Regal Westview 4DX experience, seeing the original Twister on Friday. You're going to love that. Really, really fun. Uh, we had a great time. I hope you guys had an awesome, long weekend. Yesterday's weather, oh my gosh, gorgeous. I wish I'd gotten out more, but I just didn't. Tried to get some stuff done uh, for the show, but... Uh, yeah, the weather, a little cooler in the mornings now. Fall is coming for sure. Uh, we want to thank all of our new subscribers. We're at 765 so far and would love to hit that thousand mark by the end of the month. Ask a friend or two to subscribe today. And if you're wondering what this show is all about, maybe it's the first time you've stopped by. This show is all about you, Frederick. It's about the people, the community, and everything happening in this town. It reminds you how great Frederick is. I know we can get caught up in some of the negativity, uh, but uh, we love to try to think about the positives, okay? Uh, and don't want you to forget about the podcast. If you're in your car, you just want to listen, or maybe you're doing some housework, you can put it on your Google Home or uh, your uh, Alexa or anything like that. We're on Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeart, and other platforms. So please ask for Good Morning Frederick. All right, our new 100 show shirts are at the home of everything Frederick. Uh, proceeds will be donated to Christmas Cash for Kids for sales now through December. Uh, so you're going to want to stop by and see us uh, at the home of everything Frederick. We're going to be there tomorrow night. We're going to talk about that. We're going to be there, obviously, in the streets. And then it's first Saturday. Tons of stuff happening. In support of another local nonprofit, you can drop off your new bedding donations to the home of everything Frederick. This is for Sleep in Heavenly Peace. They build beds for kids so they don't have to sleep on the floor. Uh, you can drop off your sheets, blankets, comforters, pillows, all in twin size, please. Uh, and we're going to be collecting through the month of September. I've got to hit up some clearance sales and see what I can do to drop some stuff off. I'm going to make sure we fill that bin before the end of the month. All right. Whew. Lots happening. And it's my birthday week. So hmm, you're going to see some stuff about that this week. We got a big week planned for sure. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. And it will explain probably 
how I feel some of these mornings. All right, let's get our show started. Not with that. We're not going to get, see, already, it's a Tuesday. How about let's get our show started. want to thank our show's sponsor we help you move whether you're moving across the street or somewhere around the country nicholas and his team of moving experts make the whole thing easier we help you move is veteran owned and a huge supporter of the frederick community go to wehelpyoumove.com all right before we bring chris michaels on for news weather and sports i just want to talk about a couple of things that are happening uh, that I've seen on social media. The first is the flooding that happened in downtown Frederick. Uh, we did mention it a little bit in the news on Friday, but uh, I know that there are a couple businesses that were flooded and, and devastated quite badly. We had the fires also downtown at River Bar and Grill. I do know that Downtown Frederick Partnership has started a GoFundMe for River Bar and Grill and Agave, uh, who both suffered some damage, along with, I'm hoping that that um, GoFundMe, and I'm going to talk with Downtown Frederick Partnership to see if it also uh, will help out those that were displaced who lived in the apartments above those restaurants. Uh, the um, Flooding uh, damage that happened, I did see that that, um, I think it was a jewelry, custom jewelry and gift shop was selling some of the stuff that they were able to salvage. Uh, I have reached out to see if there's anything that we can do to assist them, but do keep your eyes open if you have the capability to support those fundraising efforts, please do. Also, sadly, it looks like uh, the Sophie and Madigan's playground was damaged by graffiti. Um, very, very disheartening to see that. However, immediately, families took to removing the graffiti themselves this weekend. Uh, it was a wonderful showing of support from the community to, uh, to remove the graffiti that uh, was sprayed on Sophie and Madigan's playground. You know, it is, it's, you know, it's quite sad when people don't understand that by doing things like that and kids, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's kids, but, um, you know, when they don't realize the impact of what they're doing has on our community, um, I truly hope that there is something that we can do to, Get these kids to understand uh, that that graffiti is not only defacing property from a family who has raised money in memory of two kids that were lost in a fire, but also a community that has rallied around them. Uh, this is an inclusive park. It's made specifically to open their arms to kids of all all across uh, it doesn't matter um, they have stuff for kids who are you know not physically able to play on other parks and um look i think i think frederick community is freaking awesome that is why we love this community so much it's why we will continue to support uh the great community that we have but um i really want to thank all those families who just jumped in and took action and didn't just look at it and and let it go because i think the minute we let this stuff go um our town is done for so um hopefully one day we'll be able to get some cameras out there and catch the people who are doing this but in the meantime thank you frederick thank you for caring about sophie and madigan's playground 
um, as much as the family who has uh, put that in because it's been a it's been a group effort, but um, we need to remember what that park was put in for. All right, let's talk about our giveaways that we have for you. I'm giving you two tickets to Troy Fest, which is this Saturday. You can text. I'm going to select the winner right after the show. So if you want those tickets, text right now. Text the word FEST, 888-465-2944. I've got that family four-pack tickets to Gaver Farm. That's uh, If you want to enjoy, this is the time of year for farm fun. You can head out there. I've also got a jack pass to the Frederick Fair. A jack pass is an all-you-can-ride wristband plus admission to the fair. That's going to save you quite a bit of money. I've got one of those to give you every day this week. Uh, Text Jack to win that. I've also got your Maryland Lottery Scratch-Offs. Text MDL. And don't forget to head to mdlottery.com to find out about all the games in the Maryland Lottery. And please play responsibly always. I've got that Tree Trekkers three-hour adventure ticket, which is good for the rest of this season. And um, I should have taken that off. Family four-pack to the Frederick Keys. If you text me that today, I can get you tickets today. They have games today and tomorrow. Uh, If you want to go, just let me know, and I will get you there. All right, and you can enter 24 hours a day for those. I hear Chris is in now. Let's get back to this. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. My apologies for being uh, a bit tardy today, but... uh... You know how it goes in radio. You can never predict anything. So You can never predict anything. And today, I know, it's probably hectic. Feels like a Monday, so I'm sure everything is all a little crazy. You know, uh, it is. And I, I got to tell you, um, you know, I was talking about, you know, one of the things we were talking about is people identifying as, as certain, certain, you know, different things. I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, uh, Danny, for Labor Day, and she's going through some stuff right now. I'm not going to say her name. Uh, I don't want to throw her name out there, but we were talking and she was telling me, she's like, Chris, you know, I'm a, identifying as a candy bar. <laughs> what? I said, I identify as a candy bar. She's like, yeah, my pronouns are her, her, she, go figure. But um, bump. I love it. <laughs> That's that nice. is, that is a good uh, sign of the time dad joke, I think. Hey, you know, listen, my daughter's first day of school today over in Carroll County. We started a lot later. I figured I'd start working on my dad joke so I can embarrass her in front of her friends. So There you go. Party. I think that will absolutely do it. I think it I'm just, will. I'm just well, what do you have that. for us uh, in our local news? Well, uh, getting into serious topics, a priest uh, who suffered serious burns during the uh, fire at St. Anthony's Shrine, um, uh, rectory in Emmitsburg early Friday morning, that's according to the church's website, which identifies the clergyman as Father Andrew was taken by ambulance in critical condi- critical condition uh, in, in Frederick and flown out to John Hopkins Bayview Medical Center in Baltimore. The church reports on its website that uh, Father Andrews is doing okay and recovering. The Frederick County Fire Marshal's office says the cause of the fire was accidental uh, originating on the porch, damage is estimated at four hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, yikes! And that's just another church that had the accidental fire. Of course, there was one in Carroll County uh, recently. And you were just talking about the Frederick Keys here. Well, uh, some renovation work is expected to take place at Harry Grove Stadium. The city of Frederick made that announcement on Friday and said it will work in partnership with the Maryland Stadium Authority. And uh, Etain Sports, the owner of the MLB's draft league, uh, Frederick, Se- Frederick Keys. The uh, venue was built now in 1990, which I didn't know because I've only been here since 2019, uh, as a state-of-the-art facility. But it requires significant improvements to bring it up to stadium facility standards set by the MLB Player Development League, the city says. So hopefully they're looking at possibly maybe, uh, you know, getting uh, – another professional uh, uh, baseball team to be their minor league team. So that'd be great if they can do that. 
And uh, also here uh, on uh, Thursday, Montgomery County Police investigated murder-suicide in Rockville. I hate hearing things like this. On Thursday, August 29th at 7.50 a.m., officers responded to the uh, uh, 14900 block of South Lawn Lane for reports of a shooting. They found uh, civil gene uh, collects the 60 suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Police and medics provided aid to Kalexi, who was taken to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. A witness told police that the suspect got away in a gray Toyota Tacoma. So a lookout was uh, broadcasted. The vehicle was located near the intersection of Avery and Norbeck Roads. An officer conducting a felony traffic stop heard a gunshot. Uh, police say that the suspect, identified as Dario Villard, 53, was found inside the truck with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Villard was taken to a local hospital where he later died. A handgun was recovered inside the uh, the truck. And uh, I want to mention something really quick that I mentioned today, Danny, uh, on the air. Uh, Sophia Madigan's playground, which was vandalized yesterday, okay? I'm disgusted. Hmm. I'm very upset. And I mentioned this on air. And for those who did that, if you don't know about this uh, park, how it was built and why it was built, because the, the the life that was lost, those two beautiful young ladies, then you should find out. Look, graffiti is bad in general. But for this park, for what you did, just disgusting. And I tell you what, I, I'm i upset about that. I hope Frederick he catches them and throws them uh, in jail. Yeah, we just I just talked about it as well. I what the thing the, the positive side of that is that Frederick rallied right away. Families just took it upon themselves to start cleaning up and and I love that part, but yeah, you're right. And unfortunately, look, I don't think the kids or teens, whoever it was that did this, I don't think they're engaged in the community. Otherwise, they would they wouldn't have done it, right? So it's an unfortunate part of it. I do hope they're caught. And I do think we need to start um, doing some sort of punishment that, you know, not only do they have to remove their own graffiti, but um, the graffiti of others as well. I mean, there, there has to be some consequence for this. And this happened also in a park over in, in northern Frederick County. Uh, where it was vandalized, um, and it was heartbreaking to see that also. But this particular park here, yeah. uh, Sophia Madigan's Playground, we all know the story of how it's built, and her mother is, their mother, absolutely amazing, uh, taking her horrible grief and helping children by building this beautiful park. Um, and yeah. again, I want to echo what you said. Kudos to those around the city who helped uh, try to clean it up. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. All right, real quickly, I'll get into sports. Uh, so I, I know my math isn't the greatest, but the, uh, Terps, uh, scored 50 points. UConn only scored seven. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure the Terps won that game, 57. Of course, the game was broadcasted right here on WFMD. Go Frederick Terps! Keys, yes. The Frederick Keys took a tough loss and saw their chances of a championship come to an end Monday afternoon after they fell to the Trenton Thunder by a score of 5-2 to two at Nemeo Field at Harry Grove Stadium. And the O's beat the uh, White Sox 13-3. The Yankees also beat the Texas Rangers. So with the Yankees winning, the O's winning, the O's still remain a half a game uh, back behind the Yankees for that AL East lead. The O's take on the 31-108 Chicago White Sox. That's right, 31-108. They are brutal. They're hopefully a, a good to set the record for most losses, uh, which is unfortunately something the Mets have had. <laughs> so that would be nice that uh, I don't have to hear people say, oh, the Mets are the worst team ever in baseball. <laughs> Let's go O's beat the White Sox. And the Nats are off last night. They take on the uh, Miami Marlins tonight at 640. Uh, well, we appreciate all the updates, and we know you got a lot going on this week. So we will actually not see you, what, until Friday? Uh, I won't be here tomorrow. I will be here Wednesday, uh, Thursday. I won't be here. And then Friday I'll be back. Yes. Yes. So we will see you have a, you have a couple of days of things you got to do, and then we'll wrap yeah. up the week with you on Friday. So have a great right, couple of days so and we will see you soon. Take care now. All right. See ya. Whew. All right. We're going to take a quick break. Then we're going to get to all the events from the best calendar in the region. And we've got photographer Nicole DeMall talking about turning her passion into a side hustle. We've got your Possum Pets, sponsored by Pet and Home Care. 
And my husband, Ash, and I recap our Regal Westview 4DX experience seeing the original Twister. Oh, that's a lot of fun. That's all coming up right after this. Just want to say good morning to Tara, Jeremy, George, Michelle, Mama Cone, and everyone else who has watched and commented. I absolutely appreciate it very much. I really do. All right, let's talk about what's happening in Frederick. Happening in Frederick is sponsored by Taco Bar. It is Taco Tuesday. After a long weekend, what would be better than 20% off three tacos all day long at Taco Bar in West Point Plaza? They're right on Route 40, right between that 40 and alternate 40 split. You can get steak, chicken, al pastor, carnitas, or fish tacos. If you're vegan, there are options for you as well. And if you're feeling adventurous, try the beef tongue and small intestine tacos at Taco Bar. TacoBar1.com for more info. All right, you know where you got to go if you want to see the best calendar in all of Frederick. I got to tell you, actually, it should be the best calendar anywhere at all because I spend hours now, hours, I get tagged on Tons of events, which I do appreciate. Can't do it without you. But I got to say, look at Saturday the 7th. 73, more than 73 events on Saturday, September 7th. When I tell you we've got more events going on in this town, 50 just during the weekdays uh, now, 50 or more events there is, I'm telling you, no way anyone can say that they are bored in this town. There's no way. I'm sorry, I don't accept it. Uh, there are so many great things going on. Again, I have continued to update the um, Frederick County Public Library programming. They've got some amazing programs available, including yoga for free. They've got these great um, kind of like classes and presentations. I'm telling you, if you haven't checked out uh, the Frederick County Public Library on what's on offer, you are missing out. I would have lived at the library if I had my kids now, uh, if I had young kids. Um, they've got a lot of great stuff going on, including you can see here today, Tuesday, of course, we've got the Fingerboard Farm Market open. If you need fresh produce today, maybe you used it all this weekend, head on down to the Fingerboard Farm Market. They're open from 11 to 5.30, and they've got the freshest organic produce that you can find. Um, how about the... Um, 
emergency preparedness bingo which is at middletown public library this is for adults it's national preparedness month so come play bingo at middletown public library and you can learn about the best ways to pre prepare when inclement weather hits no better way than to have a good time and play some games uh there's also yoga as i said this is at the middletown public library as well 5 30 this evening and uh you can pre it's presented by mountain spirit yoga and i believe that's all free so you gotta love that uh curious iguana presents author andy burke uh that is tonight at 7 p.m at Seber Arts Library. Again, some great stuff happening at our local libraries. Tomorrow, you can head to the Fall Fun Festival at Gaver Farm. I'd love to give you those tickets so you can go for free. That is happening from 10 to 6. And uh, you, there's animals you can feed, over 60 attractions, including hay rides, a chicken show, mini mazes, playgrounds. That's pretty phenomenal that that is available and fall of course you're going to start to feel it it is happening whether we like it or not uh you can head to let's get ready for kindergarten also at middletown public library they've got a t middletown i think has some of the most programming uh that is happening but that's from 11 to 11 30 so if you've got youngsters three to five you can head to that they also at Brunswick Library have a school in STEM skills for preschoolers from 11:15 to 11:45. Um, I'm telling you, as I said, it's really so much great stuff happening. Um, you can all right. Tomorrow night is our cocktails and conversations. That is our social networking from five to seven at the home of Everything Frederick come on out stop by you can pick up your good morning frederick merch you can drop off your sheets or comforters or pillows for sleep and heavenly peace you can come have a beverage or two and hang out it is the coolest most laid back fun networking you will attend i promise you it is a group of different people every single time i meet new people that i've never met before I do see a few older friends every now and then, but really it is fresh and new and we'd love to see you tomorrow, five to seven, stop by. Even if you don't own a business, if you work for a business, just come on by and say, hey, we'd love to see you. We would absolutely love to see you. All right, the Frederick Keys are home tomorrow. This is the final game. It is WAG Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m versus trenton enjoy if you want to go if you want to go and you want to go for free let me know i do have a couple of tickets left and i'd love to give them to you on thursday well it is a live at five day and uh i am going to be there with a bunch of friends special delivery band is playing they are fun it is going to be a huge crowd the weather, I think, looks pretty good so far, so we're going to go no matter what. Uh, we are kicking off the birthday weekend. My friend Dorothy and I are birthday twins, and uh, it kicks off our birthday celebration. Alive at 5 this Thursday, 5 to 8. You do need to be 21 or up, $6 to get in, and $6 beverages, uh, plus food trucks will be there as well. Uh, then Friday... There are so many great events happening. Uh, you just got to check them out and see what you have time for. Uh, you can head to, there's volleyball at 199 North Place. That's pretty cool. It is just a pickup game. All ages are welcome from 7 to 8.30. If you wanted to play volleyball and you just want to head out there, you can do that. Uh, you can also head to a historic ghost tour uh, from Maryland Ghost Tours. That goes at 8 o'clock on Friday night. On Saturday, as I said, there are more than 50 events 
more than 60 events or whatever I said was a ton. Look at this. You can do something every minute of every hour of the day. Don't forget about the Kenyan challenge that you can register for at 830. That's uh, Karen Justice. I interviewed her. It's where you're going to walk a mile carrying a gallon of water. You can pre-register for that or you can register on site. It's happening at Warman's Mill Village Center from 8.30 to 10.30. Um, and it's just $25 to carry a gallon one mile to help uh, deliver water to uh, people in Kenya. You can head to that in the morning. Um, then, of course, you can hit all the farmer's markets now. Uh, the Frederick Fair is starting to get entries collected. The youth building entries are received this Saturday, 9 to noon. So if you have um, someone, a youth, a child who's entering anything into the fair, that is happening this Saturday. Uh, let's see. It is Curious Iguana's 11th birthday this Saturday. They are having a bunch of things happening. It is also first Saturday, so uh, downtown is going to be packed with lots of great stuff, a lot of fun. Uh, there is going to be pretty much all along, not only Market Street, but Carroll Creek stuff for you to do. The home of everything Frederick will be open and waiting for you as well. Uh, there is also the Hero and Pastry Days at St. Peter, Saints Peter and Paul Greek Orthodox Church on 7th Street. You know, if you want to get some amazing Greek food or crafts, and, and they've got um, jewelry and things like that, plus music and dancing happening all weekend long, 11 to 8 on Saturday as well. Uh, Sheer Images, 5th year anniversary which benefits courageous cash i am going to have brooke on the show tomorrow to talk about the courageous cash foundation uh, but sheer images is promoting uh the um they're celebrating their five-year anniversary and they're also taking donations to help fill the pantry at hopkins uh, monetary donations as well. They are trying to buy parking passes for families who are with their children at Johns Hopkins, which can cost as much as $25 a day. And you're going to hear all about that again tomorrow. So you can check that out as well. Uh, noon tomorrow, Puerto Rico in Brunswick. It is a, um, uh, an event. You can experience the rich heritage of Puerto Rico, uh, there's music, dance, art, and food uh, throughout Brunswick. It's at 1 East Potomac Street. You can head there. It's a great festival happening all day long uh, in Brunswick as well. So you can pretty much go anywhere uh, in Frederick County and have a great day. I don't know why this uh, event is in there twice, but there is a free family drive-in. Uh, on Saturday from 7.30 at Frederick Shopping Center. You're going to want to get there. That is for the movie Elemental. And don't forget about the WVU. If you are a Mountaineers football fan, you can watch the game at the Orioles Nest. It's the official watch party location for the Mountaineers. Oh, my goodness. And then Sunday. Sunday is opening day for football. I will be at Benstown because Benstown is the place to watch football games. And we're going to show you about all the things that they've got going on, all the specials, the TVs, and all that good stuff. So if you're looking for a place to watch football, you can head to Benstown and hang out with me and my husband, Mama Cone. Um, we got some friends joining us there. Uh, you can also take one of these great events, how about a Grandparents' Day train ride on Sunday from 11 o'clock at Walkersville Southern Railroad. You can do that. Uh, there is a plant swap I just saw that is happening at Rockwell as well on Sunday. 
Um, and let's see, Frederick Fair has the Standard Bread Horse Show is happening on Sunday, September 8th. Now, this is all pre-fair, right? The fair opens on the 13th, but there's a lot of events that happen leading up to the opening, and the Standard Bread Horse Show is one of them. So if you want to head out and see a horse show, you can do that. Coach Ball Game, remember, we interviewed him uh, not too long ago. Well, his baseball clinic is Sunday, September 8th from 3 to 6 it is at Lotes Park, which is right next to Keys Stadium. Uh, if you have a child 5 to 12, I encourage you to sign up for this clinic. Uh, I believe they still have space available. You can go to coachballgame.com for more information to get your child signed up. That's going to be a great event as well. Holy cow. So that just gets us to, you know... The first week until next Monday. However, remember, In the Street is Saturday, September 14th. That is coming up. So not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And I've got a way for you to get a free Good Morning Frederick t-shirt, tank, or tumbler. All you got to do is stop by and see us. We're going to be, we should be right outside uh, 401 North Market Street. Mama Cone's going to be inside the shop manning things there. There's going to be live music as well inside 401 North Market Street. It's a perfect day to come by and say hey and check out the shop if you haven't already. We will be there for the day. Also, coming up September 12th, the Cozy Castle Tea and Tour. Get your tickets now. You can get your tickets and check out the great property uh, that Karen has put together. There's going to be a tea. You can check it all out. I know you're going to be inspired once you are there. It's phenomenal. And then uh, on the 22nd, she's having a dinner en blanc. So uh, if you want, you can get tickets for that as well. Also, Key City Foundation. I talked to Nick from Key City Foundation. He's going to be coming up this week. But their Oktoberfest 5K fun run is October 5th. They have only ever had 100 runners at this event. This is a running town. We have races that get hundreds, if not thousands, of people. We want to support Key City Foundation. We'd love, if you'd like to run 5Ks, um, or maybe you don't enjoy it, but you know you, you want to, right? register for the Oktoberfest 5k on the calendar we're going to be talking about it more soon but uh, there's a discount code to save 10 percent on your registration all right if you have an event you want included on the calendar just email it to everything frederick live at gmail.com all right let's talk about who is making our market Market Makers is sponsored by Antietam World Travel Service. Why trust Antietam World Travel Service to coordinate your vacation? It's simple. They're a full-service travel agency to save you countless of hours of research. They also have relationships with all the suppliers that are going to give you the best value and even sometimes some perks you can't get direct yourself. And they also monitor your bookings for unexpected schedule changes and alert you which you don't get when you do it yourself. All right, when you book with Antietam World Travel Service, you get convenience, experience, and connections. Go to AntietamTravel.com now and get started on your dream vacation. All right, Nicole DeMall is a mom and a teacher, but her, her love for photography has led her to give this side hustle a go. Let's talk to Nicole. Chatting with Nicole DeMall and... Uh, while she's not teaching school, she is a photographer, and I'm so happy to have her today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to be here. Uh, well, we're so excited to showcase your talents. So how long have you been taking photos? Um, not professionally uh, for many, many years because I have five children and I like taking pictures of them. <laughs> 
Holy goodness. I don't know how you have time to do anything. <laughs> um, but professionally, I just finished up my third month and it's been a really, really wonderful whirlwind. It's been so fun. Oh, that is phenomenal. It is, uh, look, I think you kind of utilize your family as test subjects throughout <laughs> and then people see those photos and say, hey, will you take photos of us too, which is great. Uh, what do you love about taking photos so far? Well, my main focus in photography is um, children, babies, families. And so I just, I have a love for, well, I have a love for children in general. Um, having five children and being a teacher. <laughs> I love children and I love being able to capture families and um, seeing them together and I don't know, just seeing the laughing and the smiling and I think mostly just being able to capture that for the families, especially the moms, because I think the moms tend to be the ones that you just want to take every single one of those moments and not let them go. You know, our children grow so fast and I love being able to give them something that they can cherish and have and see and knowing that something that I helped capture can decorate their walls forever. Yeah, like yeah for honor. sure. And I totally get because, you know, as moms, you're, you, you don't really kind of you always want those great pictures. It's never uh, an easy task. And especially if you're trying to get the whole family captured, because it's usually either the mom or the dad that's taking all the photos. Yeah. So yeah, it's always nice to get those that somebody else sees. Yeah. Plus, I think sometimes it's really interesting to get the viewpoint of the photographer and what you see, which is sometimes very different from what we see. So I think very that's true. a lot of fun. How old are your kids? So my oldest just started seventh grade. She'll be 13 this fall. Huh. Um, and then there's a 11, 10, and then I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Oh um, my goodness. So. Well, it's obvious that you love children. Not only are you with them all day long and <laughs> teaching and having your own. Uh, so let me ask you so you like um you know obviously the family capturing families and things like that and you know you're still fairly new at this whole thing what are your thoughts on you know what you might have coming up are you going to be trying to do some seasonal things or some holiday photos do you have any ideas yeah. or thoughts on that i'm so excited for the fall um you know being in a lot of photography groups, you know, and a lot of fellow photographers talk about the fall just being kind of where it's at because everybody wants to get, you know, that yearly picture. So it, I don't know, the fall kind of resets because that's the school year and everybody wants to get pictures for their holiday cards or what have you, school pictures. Um, so I'm really excited for the fall and definitely going to be offering um, all my evenings and weekends for um, family photo shoots to, you know, get ready for holiday pictures. And then I'm going to be setting up some um, mini sessions with, you know, the Christmas trees and holiday settings and um, planning on some fall themed pictures and, you know, the beautiful colors of the trees. Um, so definitely a lot, a lot coming up this these next few months. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Fall, fall is my favorite time of year. So. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. And you're right. Look, it is the time when all of us go, oh my gosh, we need that holiday photo card <laughs> picture and need somebody to take it for us. Uh, do you have a particular place that you like to go to take photographs right now? Or do you kind of leave that at client's discretion or a little bit of both? Yeah, that's a great question. So I always open it up to clients because sometimes people have a special place that they would like to go, but most of the time people want me to tell them where to go. They don't want to think about that part. Um, so yes, I do have a few um, locations that I like that has, you know, nice lighting, nice greenery, but a lot of my photo shoots I've done on my land. Um, but we have three acres of property um, partially wooded and then partially open with a nice farm-esque background. And so a lot of families I've been able to, to just take my pictures there. Um, and that's oh. you know, really worked out because I have a lot of different backgrounds that I can kind of offer all within one little area. So. Yeah. And that'll be great for your mini sessions where you yeah. might be able to have two or three little sets 
ready to go for people to kind of hop one to the other and and try out some different stuff how that is great convenient for you certainly but you are right when when a photographer says to me where do you want to go i'm like i don't you tell me what is going to be best for you to capture you know the photos so yeah very much like that as well um do you have kind of any favorite photos that you've taken thus far yeah, so actually, um, my well, it's always my most recent photo shoot because every time it just, I feel like it's better and better. But um, I love it. my most recent photo shoot, I actually think one of the photos I might, uh, I might even submit into the Great Frederick Fair, but it was a, um, I don't know if you've ever seen like the milk bath photos. Um, yeah. So I, I took a photo family photo shoot of a little family and their little sweet um six i think six seven months old and she just has these beautiful blue eyes and we put her into a a strawberry milk bath and put a little red bow on her because i have bows in every color of course (laughs) and and um it was a striking and beautiful photo um and so that's kind of my favorite at the moment (laughs) yeah i love it I love it. You were telling me earlier that you previously taught or you started your teaching career in Montgomery County. Have you lived in Frederick a long time? Yeah. So um, even when I worked in Montgomery County, I lived in Carroll County. Um, My family's moved around a little bit. Um, We actually lived in Montana for a year following my husband's career and then came back. And then ever since we came back, we've been in Frederick County, and that has been, I think, coming up on nine years now. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, um, Montana. That would have been yeah, that was funny. phenomenal. <laughs> it would have been phenomenal. Um, what do you love about Frederick County? What is it? Do you have any top things that you love? Um, I mean, I really love downtown Frederick. So I grew up in Carroll County, and but my, my husband grew up in Frederick County. And so when we were dating, he would, you know, bring me into Frederick County because that's what he knew. And I just felt like it was like, like downtown Westminster, but like five times the size. So it still had that kind of like small town feel, but a lot bigger like there was a lot more to do and a lot more to see um so we have a lot of favorite spots that we that we love and i i like that you can kind of feel like you're in you know a little bit of a small town feel but there is a lot to do um so i really do a lot i enjoy a lot of the places in downtown even though we don't go a whole lot yeah i always like it when we go especially around christmas time i know it is magical at the holidays especially with the boats in the water and the lights on the trees yeah it's so fun it's great i definitely plan to take pictures around christmas down there (laughs) oh yes yes absolutely um if there was one thing you'd want people to know about you and or your photography what would that be um I think that I just have such a passion for it and such a passion to make somebody's um, family and the love in their family come out in spades and to be able to involve, I guess, who they are as people and as a family. And I know I want, I want people to kind of um, just be themselves and be, natural so if a family is kind of more goofy and silly that's what i want to capture yeah that's great i love it i love it well look we wish you all the success in the world i can get just by talking to you your love for it and your passion for it and you know i just think there are you know so many opportunities and it's so great to have somebody who wants to capture those moments for local families so we really do wish you all the best we thank you so much for your time today have a great school year and i'm sure we'll be seeing those uh seasonal mini sessions coming up soon stay in touch with us though we'd love to circle back with you uh after maybe after the holidays and see how things are going that'd be great thank you so much Thanks, Nicole. Appreciate it. Thank you. I want to thank Nicole. She jumped out into her car right after school to record that for us. So if you're looking for somebody to do your photos, you can check her out as well. All right, quick 
break. Then we're back with Possum Pet, sponsored by Pet and Home Care. They're hiring, don't forget. And you're going to meet two bonded kittens, Pepsi and Cola. And my husband, Ash, and I recap our Regal Westview 4DX experience seeing the original Twister. You don't want to miss that. That's all right after this. Cosmec Healing handcrafted small batch tinctures and transdermal salves. Double third party tested for quality you can trust. If you've got pain, headaches, or anxiety, our products are here to help you find relief. Patient over profits mindset. Because we're patients too. CosmecHealing.com Dream Free Art Frederick's first and only splatter room New location, new beginner friendly art for shenanigans for all ages Come fling paint and make a masterpiece in Dream Free Art splatter room or join us for a fun and unique art experience Book your next birthday party, corporate event, date night, or family outing at dreamfreeart.com to unleash your inner artist today. Dream Free Art. Free your creativity. Ah, ANS Construction, a local and award-winning woman and minority-owned business located right here in Frederick. ANS Construction specializes in roofing, siding, windows, and they'll also take care of your gutters patios and decks. Actually, I need to contact Sandra. We have something happening with one of our gutters. We've noticed the spout. It's all flying over the top, all the water, not going down the way it should. Call 301-703-2157 or email info at ansconstruction.net. Don't forget, you get $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs because you are a Good Morning Frederick viewer. And that is worth it right there. Tell Sandra that Danny sent you when you reach out. All right. This is all kind, also kind of what is happening in Frederick. All right, last Friday, Ash and I went to the movies, and this happening for Frederick is sponsored by Pooling for Veterans. Their final flea market of the year is Sunday, September 29th. Get your space for just $30. Email outreach at poolingforveterans.org. All right, we went to the movies. We haven't been in quite a while, and I asked him to do a recap. Here's how it went. My husband, Ashley Gurry. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so, we went to the movies recently. Which is the first time for a long time. We haven't been to the movie theater for a while. We have not. And I opened my big mouth and said to Westview Cinemas, what is 4DX? I don't understand all that. And they were explaining it's a very interactive movie. So we've well, been invited to two sessions. We went on Friday night to see the original Twisters, the OG Twister. 1996. Was it 96? I yes. thought it was 94. Bill okay. Paxton, Helen Hunt. Uh, yeah, no, Helen I know. Hunt. Mm. Back in 96. Lord, I didn't realize. She's wearing the white tank oh, most of the time. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I had no idea about that. This is all new. So how do you feel about Helen? She did look really, really young. She, oh, she looked real. Well, I mean, that's what, 20... Almost well, eight 30 years ago? Yeah, more than that, right? 90, 96. 96, 20, 2024, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> My husband's had a crush. I thought no, Sandra I Bullock was the one. Well, Sandra Bullock is the crush, yes. <laughs> well, we're kind of getting off track. Anywho. So, we went to see Twister on Friday night. Yes. And uh, I, I have to say, so we, we sit in the seats that are... A set of four. It's a set, well, per... Per ride, I guess it's it's like four seats are together. Yeah. But um, you know they're rows like yeah. normal. I yeah. had a very difficult time knowing what our ticket number row and seat was though. That was kind of hard for me. But we worked it out. We get in and even during the um, previews, things started. Yeah, there was a movie preview for Transformers and. What was the other one? Simba? I have no Monkey. idea because I was, was so. That <laughs> That's when, that's when, out about that, the movie. That's when it started. Well, and here's the first thing. 
a friend of ours, a friend of mine was at the theater in front and she looked back and she goes, you guys have popcorn? And I said, yeah, why? And she and goes, a drink. And, and a drink. Well, you had the drink. I had my drink bottle. But uh, she's like, oh, they told me not to even worry about popcorn. And you were like, ah, I It'll don't be understand. Fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. As soon as the, the movie started, in the previews. In the previews. In the previews so I was like, oh, hurry up and eat this popcorn. <laughs> we knew. We knew it was more like a roller coaster. Yeah, I mean, I love roller coasters. <laughs> Which usually run for, what's say, 90 seconds, two minutes roller coaster. This is a two hour roller coaster. And I'm not lying. Yeah. No, it's a two hour roller coaster yeah. with a few. There's Lo a few minutes of reprieve. There, there was about a five minute reprieve in in the movie, and I'm sure everyone's seen the movie. There's in between all the hurricanes, or sorry, tw twisters. Yeah. That that go on through there, and that's when I strategically realised I had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, if you. What if you really had to go while things were moving? Oh, you were going there. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the accident was happening. I was shocked that there were no like seat belts. Or warnings. Or warnings. Yeah. If there were, we missed Roller coasters that. have, if you're pregnant, back problems, high blood pressure, anxiety, uh, vertigo, whatever it is, don't ride. Yeah. Nope, nothing for this one. Look, it really was, it was fun. fun. Oh, and, and the water. The little spritzes. Oh, yeah. There were little spritzes of water and little... Gusses puffs, of air. Puffs of air the behind in the back us. Ears, like, <laughs> I thought somebody was that? behind me. I'm thinking there's bugs flying around. Uh, so we are actually, now, with that movie, we kind of knew what was going to happen because we've seen the movie several times. I mean, yeah. You but You kind of remember is, what's going to happen. I mean, this 28-year-old movie, be, I hadn't seen it for a long time, but I knew strategically where things were going. Yeah, yes. yeah. So we're going to see the updated Twisters, mm -hmm. which is the 2024 version. We're going to see that tonight. And uh, we'll report on that tomorrow to let you know how that goes. Because not knowing what's going to happen, I don't know. Both of us came out of the movie Twister with so tense because you're holding That's on. Right. You're gripping with gripping your calves. Gripping under the seats and, and your, your, seat your My hamstrings were sore. My calves were sore because I'm... There's a little thing for your feet at the bottom, and I'm pushing down on that, trying to hold myself into the. the there is somewhere it's like a, it's like a, it's almost like a car wreck, that you're ready to get flung out of the vehicle. There were a few because there were a few times in my peripheral I just saw him flying. It was very funny. So we'll let you know how it goes. Look, it does. It it is pretty cool it's interactive i don't think i could see every single movie like this but i'm i'm su assuming that they only show the movies in 4dx that have some sort of action sort of stuff right. i mean if they had uh, twisters twister is probably an extreme version of 4dx yeah I'm not gonna lie definitely an extreme version but if they had something that was lower end some action scenes and that sort of stuff Sure, it'd be it'd be great. Wouldn't yeah. be as violent. <laughs> I did love it though. We did. It was, have, we had it a was great different. Time. Rather than just walking and sitting on the chair and me. You're definitely not napping during this That's movie. That's what I was just about to say. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm I'm a big one for doing that. <laughs> yeah. Head nods and falling asleep in movies, especially ones I've seen before. Yeah. There, there ain't no sleeping that's in not, this one. That's not happening. All right, we're going to report on Twisters, the 2024 version, and we'll let you know how that goes. Definitely recommend. you got to try it. Uh, I, the young people, I think, would love it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Us old folk. I had to take two Advil PM before going to bed Friday night. Yeah, I, you I, woke up sore. I woke up sore. I didn't really sleep all that well. <laughs> I mean, Us I was old a little, folks. I was a little shook. <laughs> but we do want to thank Westview Cinemas for uh, inviting us out. And we'll let you know how Twisters 2024 goes. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Makes me laugh just watching that. Oh, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was really a great time. Regal Westview is where you go for that. 
All right, it is time now for Possum Pets, sponsored by Pet and Home Care. They're hiring for pet sitters and kennel techs. Listen to these benefits, 40 hours PTO each year, 401k matching, flexible schedule, full-fledged employee. You're not a subcontractor, which means your taxes are taken care of. Go to PetAndHomeCare.com and click on Careers Today. PetAndHomeCare.com. Today's Possum Pets features Pepsi and Cola bonded kittens. Frederick County Animal Shelter and Good Morning Frederick proudly present Possum Pets. Sponsored by Pet and Home Care. Now let's meet today's adorable, adoptable pet. They are soft with their paws, aren't oh. they? All right. So what did I say? This is, before I tell you, let me double check. Oh my goodness, hi. Oh, hi. So you have Pepsi. Pepsi's the gray She's and white. Pepsi? She's a girl. Yeah. Hi, Pepsi, yeah. sweetie. <gasps> oh my this. gracious. Look at these babies. <laughs> All right, we're at Frederick County Animal Control. I'm here with Sean and these two adorable kittens, Pepsi and Cola. I have Pepsi, right? Yep, you She's got it. Little yeah. sister, sister and brother. Yep, they're about four months old. Found as strays, which is not uncommon. Um, over on Waverly Drive, so not far from here. So just these two? Yeah, no mom, no other kittens. So just the two of them were found. Uh, brought to us by Good Samaritan, which that's common too. Someone yeah. finds them and doesn't see anything else. And uh, they've been with us since about August 7th. So, you know, they're kittens. And you can see here that he's wanting to explore, which he is, is common. Yeah. Um, what makes them a bit unique is that we have them as bonded, which is yeah. not typical for kittens, meaning you have to adopt them both. And, you know, you might be saying, well, why are they bonded? Kittens get separated all the time. Um, what we found is when they were spayed or neutered that they were actually fairly distraught yeah. that they were, you know, not comfortable with being separated. Yeah. So, you know, we did make them bonded, which will make them better. And you know what? Lately, what we've been noticing, a lot of people have been adopting two kittens. Yeah. So, you know, these two, yeah, yeah, so that way you can adopt them. We incentivized adopting two animals the same day by reducing the total adoption fee by $20. So, yeah. you know, there's, there's a lot of reasons to adopt two kittens. I will say they're a bit mischievous, especially the boy here. Um, from what I've been told, he likes to to dip his hand. It's a busy room. It is a busy room. Uh, he likes to dip his hand in this food and put it on the rug ah. and then eat it off the okay. rug. So, you know, it's one of those things. You got to expect that from yeah. kittens, right? So yeah. all those annex go along. Um, so people might also think, well, why are you highlighting kittens? You, you know, kittens adopt themselves, and that's very true. But at the same time, we have them. So yeah. if you want a kitten, now's the time to visit the yeah. shelter. Uh, last week when I counted, I haven't counted today, but I want to say we had 40 kittens in foster care that were under four months of age. Oh, so wow. all those are going to be coming back to the shelter gradually. Yeah. You know, so it's just a constant stream of new kittens available on the adoption floor. Yeah. Oh my gosh. These two are precious. And yep. he did calm down as soon he as did. he turned around and saw her too. It yeah. is funny. It's yeah. like, your little brother silly and you know viewers yeah. you can hear the things that go on in the room so yeah. sometimes for a cat in general if you think about loud noises in your home what oh, does a yeah. cat do they don't like they want to hide yeah. they want to yeah. run and those types yeah. of things so, so uh, we also you have a dog event coming up yeah, yeah. so Saturday, September 7th, <laughs> the catch <laughs> um, we'll be at the waterside community pool they open their pool to the community to allow your dog to come and swim. It's after it's closed to the people. And uh, it's, it's right, we're both getting It's it. like, don't From, work yeah. with animals or kids. Yeah. It's all good. From, uh, I want to say 12 to 4, that you can bring your dog. They ask for a donation to the shelter, our facility, which a lot of people don't mind doing. Yeah. And it's just a great dog event. They have all kinds of activities and vendors, and, yeah. you know, it'll be a great opportunity to get your dog outside. Yeah, absolutely, and a great cause. And look at these two. Look at, uh, I mean, her. Look at this, Pepsi. Look at yourself. You see? You see yourself, dear? 
Look at it. And look at, hi, buddy. I know you're so, so gray and white and black and white. Yep, you got it. And yeah. so how old are they? They're about four months of age. These guys yeah. are four months too. Four okay. months, yep. Look at that. Pepsi and Cola are available right now. Frederick County Animal Control. <laughs> Visit fcac.as.n. Oh my gosh, look at you. You're so silly. Visit fcac.as.me. Fill out the application. Make an appointment. Come in and see these two. They are adorable and they're available. Plus tons of other kittens and cats and even dogs. So whatever you want as a possum pet, you can get it right here. Thanks, Sean. Yep, Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yes, possum pets. If you're looking for a pet, please adopt. Don't try to buy from Facebook Marketplace. Don't try to do that. Even the pet stores use uh, rescues. Uh, let's adopt and try to get these gorgeous critters a home. All right, coming up tomorrow, Mike Price from Special Olympics Frederick County. A recap of the latest Twisters movie. Ash and I are headed to Regal Westview tonight. Brooke from Courageous Cash Foundation tells me about an event coming up on Saturday. And Style Me Sue has a consignment shop in Damascus with a little bit of a twist. Tell a friend about Good Morning Frederick, please. Let's get our subscribers to a thousand. I know we can do it. If each one of you just invites one friend, we are there. I'd love to get there. All right. Have a great Tuesday. Don't forget it is Tuesday. Let's get out there. Let's be great, Frederick. From downtown streets to